So we've added the firmware to our device. I did have this battery lying around, which is 3.7 volts. I actually bought it for a hotspot, but I feel like it's the right voltage to power this. So when you get this device, this is called the Heltec version three. It's a LoRa unit. It has an 868 megahertz transceiver and receiver. You've got the external antenna here, connector, it's very small, and then looks like you've got an onboard one there, USB-C. I know it's powered by USB-C, but look, you've got this cable that comes with it. All of this eventually goes inside this case, with it will look like that, and the antenna slots into there. But I'm just gonna have a look at this battery, actually, because I've got two cables here. Now, I haven't charged the battery, so it might not even, it might not even come on. You know, it's been sat in a box for a while. A long while so but the only way I'm going to charge it really is by connecting it here and for now I'm just literally going to poke it in the holes so we've got black to black red to red of course and just see if the thing comes on which it, it, it did flash so there you are so what I'll do to to charge my battery I'll plug my USB in and so it charges the battery. Does it tell you how well? But you know, at the end of the day, this battery is working. The correct one is just, it is this, but it's this is a really good one actually. It's 2000 milliamp hours, it's gonna last for ages. But I don't actually have a way of charging that battery, so this is gonna work. So thanks for watching. We've got lots to learn. You know, at the moment we're connected via Wi-Fi to this unit. We've we've just gone into the settings on the on the phone and done that. But when we enabled Wi-Fi, we disabled Bluetooth. So now to change settings, we have to go on my PC and look for the control panel via the IP address. We've gone here, client.meshtastic, add new client. I'm gonna put in my IP address. It looks like I could have done it via Bluetooth as well, or serial, but we're just gonna quickly put my IP in there. So I got the uh, IP address from here, look, 192.168. You can use advanced IP scanner. But I would, you know, read this through because I don't think I'm actually communicating with it, although I've got this, I'm able to access this page and it does say web running and so some learning to do and I've clicked here. You can see how it's going to work. Got a map here. Okay. And then some tabs here on the left. Got a ham radio as you can hear in the background. Configuration. Channels. And there's a default channel that they they come with. Nothing's going to load because I'm not actually connected. You can import channels there. Look, peers. So once I you know learn how to use this, I'll let you know. But at least we know the battery works and all that. So uh, bye for now. Seven three.